Hey, everyone watching. My name is Tatiana for Where is the Buzz TV, and I'm here with the lovely Ellie Grace Orkin. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So I am super ex excited to talk to you because I just, you know, binge all of Stranger Things, and we're going <laughs> to get into all of that. But first, I want to start off, how did you get into acting? Because you're still very young. So was yeah. this something you grew up doing, or did you kind of just fall into it? Well, when I was really little, I was really, really shy. And my mom put me in all these extracurricular activities trying to like get me out of my shell. And finally, she put me in musical theater. And I guess that's where I kind of like found myself and was able to make friends and all that kind of th stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been doing like acting, but through musical theater since I was like four. Um, and then I've only really started like the on-screen stuff since I was maybe 11 or 12. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. And wait, are you from the UK? Um, my mom's from the UK and I've spent a lot of time here. I've like grown up in LA, but I've been here for a while now. So my accent's kind of gotten a bit more extreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I hear it a little bit, but it's not, you know, too, it's not too British. <laughs> My accent's really weird. It's somewhere in the middle of a American and or Valley Girl and like London. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it though. Um, so when it came to Stranger Things, what was the audition process like? So I only did one self tape. So I recorded really? myself doing an audition about I think that was October of 2019. Wow. That yeah. And then I didn't hear back for like six, eight months. So I kind of forgotten about it. And then all of a sudden it was like, I booked the job. Um, so that was a really crazy, exciting experience. Um, and then we didn't film until at least another year and a half later. About. Because of COVID and the pandemic and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> so you must have been really like eager for it to get out and for people to see it and everything. Mm -hmm. um, were you a fan of the show beforehand? Absolutely. I was such a big fan of the show. Actually, like the reason I started screen acting and stuff, because I saw Stranger Things come out and it was kids my age. And, you know, I, that's the kind of acting that I wanted to do. I thought I had to wait until I was 18 to even start thinking about doing that kind of stuff, like proper drama. But, um, yeah, Stranger Things came out and I was like, well, why can't I do it now? So full circle moment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And your character, Angela, is very much a mean girl, <laughs> a bully, but you seem very sweet. So when I was uh, <laughs> uh, talking to fans, they wanted to know, how did you get into character to, you know, to play like the ultimate mean girl? I mean, it was, it was pretty hard to bully Millie Boy Brown because she's so <laughs> lovely and nice. But... I mean, I don't know how I prepared. I just kind of like, I don't know, maybe had some inner rage, inner teen angst that I don't usually have the confidence to express. <laughs> Brought that out of it. <laughs> and what was it like working on a period show? Um, because, you know, there's no cell phones, the clothes are different, the hair is different. Like, even when I saw uh, your teased hair, I was like, oh my gosh, like, it really comes to life. So what was it like working on, you know, a period piece, so to speak? It was really, really fun. So that was a wig. Um, ah, it so looks so good. I know. So, and that wig has been used on two other characters as well. It's been mm -hmm. used on um, uh, Mrs. Wheeler. And then some other character, I don't remember who it was, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was so fun. And the clothes, oh my God, the fittings were just like a dream. The <laughs> loved everything. And I've got a picture of my mom in the 80s when she was my age, looking pretty much exactly the same, same hairstyle, Aww. same color blue shirt. Yeah, it's really, really funny. But I, I love the 80s in general. So being on set was a dream. Mm -hmm. Every little detail was so like, exact and perfect even the vending machines were like in the roller rink were filled with um 80s snacks so what, really what are funny. what are 80 snacks what was in there <laughs> <laughs> i don't know just like probably the same snacks today but they were all like in the 80s packaging or, like, right right like really the cokes old. and stuff like that yeah <laughs> 
So of course, like fans want to know, you got the opportunity to work with Millie Bobby Brown. Um, Finn was also in that um, scene in Noah. So what was it like actually meeting the people that you've been watching on TV for all this time and now getting to meet and work with them as well? Working with them was amazing because you can really, there's so much to play off of them because they're such amazing Mm -hmm. actors. Um, But meeting them, I really didn't know what to expect because I know that sometimes people's personalities get a bit twisted in the media and stuff. So I just kind of went in open-minded and they were all really, really lovely and welcoming. And I was a bit intimidated at first because, you know, they're family. They've worked together for 10 years now. Mm-hmm. So, um, but they were really welcoming and yeah, it was a lovely experience. So you got to tell me about the scene where... <laughs> Millie like hits you <laughs> with <laughs> the uh the skate that was so crazy your acting was so good like uh yeah. <laughs> it looked, yeah it looks so real just tell me a little bit about that scene because it was first it's like jarring to watch so I I can't imagine what that must have been like filming it as well filming it was so much fun um <laughs> I got to like fall back on this um I guess like a squishy pad or whatever mm-hmm. and I don't think they really wanted me to do the actual fall but I like I insisted it was so much fun like just throwing myself backwards mm-hmm. um so that was really fun of course like there was a stunt double who got not actually hit in the face but close enough right so, um, <laughs> so it looked real but um yeah it was so fun to film and the blood oh my god it wasn't um that was all CGI mm-hmm. but there was like a few dots on my face for them to like place it in after like in editing. But it was also interesting to learn about and how they do that stuff. Yeah. So there wasn't actually like anything on your face, but the dots. So you had to act through that as well. Yeah. I mean, there was a little bit of like makeup blood, Mm -hmm. but um, I think it was mainly just, I don't know why there was, I, I'm not sure <laughs> why it was, they didn't CGI rather I got you. I don't know, but there was a little bit of makeup, most mm-hmm. of it was CGI. <laughs> gotcha, okay, okay. So what, who was like out of the cast, would you say? Did you get to meet all of them or did you just get to meet um, Noah and Finn and Millie? I met Millie, Noah, Finn and Charlie um, on set. And then I met most of everyone else at the premiere. Uh, oh nice yeah, how was sure. the how was the premiere and like getting to go to that and experience it just just because of how massive and how big the show is it was so much fun and I was so 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 nervous um because it was my first time doing like I don't know the pressy kind of stuff where I had to like walk and talk to people right um but it I didn't need to be that nervous it was actually just it, you know pretty not simple but like a relax it was pretty relaxed everyone was pretty nice um but yeah it was so much fun like we were up dancing on the stage at some point yeah it was really really fun (laughs) who would you say is like the the comedian on set or the one that's always cracking jokes or like ruining takes or (laughs) who would you because you guys are kids you know so I imagine you're having fun and you're working yeah I mean Who's the biggest, like, who cracks up the most? I know who's the biggest prankster, and that's Noah Schnapp. At the end of, um, <laughs> at the end of filming, that. yeah, at the end of filming, um, at, like, four in the morning, uh, there was this big water balloon fight um, with Amy, the makeup, um, the makeup uh, artist. Mm-hmm. And basically, it was supposed to just be a fight between the two of them, Noah and Amy but Amy plotted against him and got everyone on set basically to hide behind the trailers and then come out as an army against him. Oh, yeah. (laughs) This is like at four in the morning as well. It was so, so funny though. Uh, So every did, so he just got bombarded by like an entire army of people. Literally. (laughs) Bless his heart. I'm sure it's like somewhere, somebody was filming that. Yeah, it's on film. I think it's on his Instagram, maybe. <laughs> I need to check that out then. I don't know if I've seen yeah. it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so I also want to talk about, I don't know if you've seen like any of the tweets or anything, but people were really like 
how did Angela escape this season, you know, and not die? Can they come back? Can she come back for season five? And can Elle get her revenge? How do you feel about that? Would you love to come back for season five? And (laughs) Obviously, I'd love to come back for season five. I mean, I don't know what the Duffers plan to do with um, the story, but yeah, it'd be a dream to come back. But um, yeah, Angela got out easy. (laughs) Yeah, compared to her punishment. (laughs) <laughs> people she definitely definitely yeah. got off easy um mm-hmm. and I feel like sometimes fans have a hard time like separating like you from your character um because I was go when I was looking online I was like geez like the hate for Angela and um the character Jason was very very real so how do you kind of separate that and navigate that and know like oh people aren't talking about me they're just talking about my character but when they're saying like all this crazy stuff, you know? I haven't really been on Twitter too much, which is where I'm sure most of the hate is. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah, but on Instagram and stuff, I've gotten a bit of hate, but mostly people have been, have been like, I hate your character so much, so that means you've done a good job. So like, I've taken that as a compliment, but- um, Yeah, <laughs> you can brush the yeah, off. Yeah, (laughs) I just kind of, I know it's not me. And if people like assume that it is, then like, I don't know. That's like their form of mine. (laughs) Yeah. And and like they said, you know, that means that you like really did the work. They were like, (laughs) this girl has sold it. Like I did not like the character, you know? So that's really, really cool. I really do hope you come back. For, it would just be crazy if you did, like after everything that happened this season yeah. to for Elle to go home and now she's got her powers back. Like that would, that would be great. Cause that, ugh, that scene is so cringe. I was so embarrassed for Elle when she, when she first like tries to enact her powers. And I know it's so horrible. <laughs> it probably wasn't, um, you probably didn't have to fake that laugh though, because it's just so, <laughs> you know, naturally embarrassing and cringy. <laughs> I know. And she had to do that in front of like, there was at least a hundred people there, like <laughs> in that courtyard or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't like having to bully her. <laughs> I don't like being a mean person. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it played really, you know, it played really well on camera and um, that's nice that you like didn't take joy in you know playing a mean girl you were just doing your job so you know yeah. <laughs> how did you feel about the rest of the season because um, I'm sure you didn't know what else was you know going to be involved besides your scenes and what you were doing so how did you feel like watching um, the entire season of the show um it's like it's such an amazing show um I enjoyed it so much and I had heard little tidbits about what was going to happen on set, mm-hmm. but yeah, I only read my scenes because um, there's such a huge fan base. They have to be so secretive. Right. But yeah, it's such an amazing show. I really enjoyed watching it. I haven't actually watched the two last episodes yet. Oh, they're so good. They're so I ha- good. Because I want to watch them all at once and I just mm-hmm. haven't had like five hours time to just That's watch fair. it all at once. But I'm going to do it this weekend. Okay. Yeah. Per- well, you must, you must have been like avoiding spoilers and stuff. You probably haven't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, and anytime I see anything that's remotely related to Stranger Things, I'm like, skip past. <laughs> oh man. I think I said something earlier then. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just ignore I mean, everything I said. went right over my okay. head. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't say anything. Enjoy. Yeah. Those last two episodes. <laughs> so do you, what's, What's next on the horizon for you? Because I feel like this is just the beginning. Fans are getting to know you, getting to see your work. And Stranger Things is like the ultimate. So where do you want to go next? Or where do you see yourself next? I mean, there's so many things that I'd love to do. Um, I guess within the, within like Hollywood, where my heart lies is like indie movies and like, like specific stories that kind of have, some deeper meaning or like I don't know make some kind of political statement or whatever I feel like that's kind of where my heart lies and my favorite movies are all kind of about those kind of things Mm -hmm. um so that's the dream I mean maybe one day I'd like I'd write I'd also love to do that I'm like trying to learn how to screenwrite right now I'm doing loads of courses and stuff (laughs) 
But um, yeah, there's so many things that I want to do within the entertainment industry. Um, but yeah, I think indie stuff, small productions that like are really impactful and that's what I want to get into. Yeah. Do you have like a dream actor or actress that you would love to work with? I mean, I'm going to say the basic answer, Meryl Streep, obviously. Um, <laughs> Hands down, yes. <laughs> um, there's just too many to even name. I mean, Saoirse Ronan has always been like a role model for me. I love her um, and everything she's been involved in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think those are two of my favorites. Honestly, there, there's too many people to name. No. But those, I mean, those are great choices already, like two powerhouses. Um, yeah <laughs> I I actually think no that may have been someone else I was like they I think they did like a one-on-one -on -one actors on actors but that might have been someone I'm maybe confusing them with someone else so I don't know <laughs> <laughs> um so when you're not acting what are some of the things that you like to do for fun um uh <laughs> all I do is act no um, <laughs> I like I watch a lot of TV and a lot of movies and obviously I'm trying to get into screenwriting. So I'm like mm -hmm. trying to practice that kind of stuff. Um, what are you watching right now? I need like new tips now that I'm done with Stranger Things. <laughs> this is not the day to ask me. I've just been watching like really crappy reality TV recently because I just no, need like a break from everything. That's perfect. <laughs> Have you been watching Love Island? I haven't, but I've heard so much about it. Um, I, I watched the past season, but I need to, I, I'm just so behind in everything. But today I actually watched a movie. I, I re-watched The Talented Mr. Ripley because it's my best, one of my best friend's favorite movies. And I just thought I just need to re-watch it. Yeah. Yes. I love Gwyneth Paltrow. I need to, I don't know if I've seen that. So I probably need to check that out. I know. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like part of it set in the summer and it's in Italy and it's all like, oh. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going <laughs> to add that to my list. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, real quick before we go, um, any last, do you want to like plug your socials or where people can find sure. you? <laughs> yes. Um, my Instagram is just my name. It's Elodie Grace Orkin. Um, yeah, that's all I really use. I mean, I have a TikTok. I haven't posted anything. Maybe you I haven't won't. posted anything? Maybe I won't. No, I haven't. I'm too nervous. Like, I feel like everyone's first TikTok is really cringy and I just don't want to have to go through that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so, do you like watching the TikToks and you're just not a poster, but you like- Yeah, 24 seven I'm on TikTok, but I just I haven't, well, I've made loads of just all of my drafts, but yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like you got to post one, like even if it's like a Stranger Things something or like a behind yeah. the scenes, people would, they would eat that up. And then you, you could just have like one post. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be really cool yeah my younger cousin is trying to been has been like trying to explain to me how to do one that isn't cringy she's telling me that I need to do like just a photo series of like my summer so far to like a cool song that could work just like as a starter I don't know maybe I will maybe I won't <laughs> well I mean we'll be on the lookout for it just, to, just in case you do <laughs> all right well thank you so much for your time Elodie it was a pleasure thank meeting you. you I really hope they bring you back for season five um, and you're going to love the rest of the season. It's, it's great. I'm really excited to watch it. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's been thank lovely you. Me. <laughs> thank you. No Bye. problem. Bye. Where is the buzz? Where is the buzz? You said we my, my. Where is the buzz?